Example 1.2. A tank which has a liquid has a total mass of 36 kilograms and is located in a space shot. We need to determine the force that the tank exerts on the support shortly after liftoff, when the shuttle is accelerating upwards at 15 feet per second squared. The first step that we have is to draw a free body diagram. This is the tank, and we have two forces acting on it. The weight, which is going downwards, and we get the force left on it. As we know from the second law of Newton, the summation of the forces has to be equal to mass times the acceleration. Just keep in mind that these are vectors. Uh, the two forces that we have are going to be FF, positive going upwards, minus the weight, negative because it's going downwards, and the mass times the acceleration. If we put these values together now, we could see that the FF, and we replace the weight to be M times G, is equal to mass times acceleration, and then if we factor out the mass, we could simply say that this is M G plus the acceleration. Since the mass is given in kilograms, uh, we know the gravity to be 9.81 meter per second square, and we simply convert the acceleration for feet per second square into meter per second square. If we have an acceleration of 15 feet per second square, and using the given conversion, we could calculate it in to be 4.57 meters per second square. Please make sure that you're able to do this conversion properly. If we substitute this value of acceleration and we substitute gravity to be 9.81 meters per second square and the mass of 36 kilograms, we find that the force is going to be equal to 5 17.74 kilograms meter per second square. Now we know that the kilograms per meter per second square is equivalent to a Newton, so the final result is going to be 517.7 Newtons. Please go back and make sure that you're able to do the unit conversion and get the result that we obtained here.